Dysfunction of locus ceruleus has been implicated in neurological and neuropsychiatric disorders, including Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, depression, bipolar disorder, and anxiety. Given these roles, analysis of locus ceruleus is crucial to studying its function and dysfunction. During mouse brain sectioning, the locus ceruleus can be easily missed in either coronal or sagittal sections due to its small size. Thus, to offer guidance for the localization of locus ceruleus, we describe a protocol that we develop to locate this region in the mouse brain for several applications. Start by placing freshly isolated brain of an anesthetized and then perfused mouse in 4% PFA in a 50 milliliter tube. Incubate the brain for 24 hours at 4 degrees Celsius. Use forceps to transfer the brain into a 50 milliliter conical tube filled with 25 milliliters of 30% sucrose solution. Incubate it at 4 degrees Celsius for 48 to 72 hours until the brain sinks to the bottom of the tube. To embed the brainstem section, place its cut surface on the bottom of an embedding mold and add optimal cutting temperature compound to surround the brainstem. Freeze the embedded brain in a minus 80 degrees Celsius freezer for at least 12 hours until further use. Place the mold with the brain into the cryostat and incubate it for several hours to adjust its temperature to that of the cryostat. To expose the OCT block containing the brain, use a razor blade to cut the four edges of the mold all the way to the bottom and then peel away the embedding mold from it. Use